Hello, my name is Sue Mnemonic and welcome to another episode of The Tea Drinker. And in this episode we're going to have a look at Tea Forte Sampler Pack. Uh, they do have their own website but I bought this at TK Maxx where I get a lot of my own tea supplies. But if you want to buy it or try it for yourself... Um, they have a website, it's tforte.com and um, I'll put some links down below as well. So let's unbox and see what we have today. A little leaflet there showing you um, all their sort of latest wares, sort of infusers and tea wares and things like that. But... Uh, Let's get to the heart of the matter. Let's see what we have on offer today. So we have our old standard Earl Grey. And that's Assam leaves with an aromatic liquoring of citrus bergamot. And this is chamomile citron. So, soothing blend of blossoms and herbs with a zest of citrus. So, this is jasmine green. Rare, intoxicating, fragrant jasmine, scented green tea. Next, we have raspberry nectar. The sweet taste of succulent raspberries with ruby-hued hibiscus flowers. And then we have white ginger pear. Enticing sweet pear with the inviting tingle of ginger. And last of all, we have black currant. which is a black tea, lush and fruity with soothing sweet floral notes. So I open the black current up and this is the sort of thing that you get, this sort of um, weird pyramid shape type thing. Um, so it's a sort of step up from um, the usual pyramid bag. So that's going to be quite exciting to um, experience. Okay, so um, now you've seen what the product is. Um, we can sort of get onto the brew now. We've had the teas brewing for a little while now. They're all sort of different colours and sort of scents coming off them. You've got your old grey, that's sort of a sort of dark brown chocolatey mahogany colour. You've got your chamomile, which is a sort of yellowy green, slightly brown colour as well. Uh, the jasmine is a sort of yellow brown slightly green color as as you'd expect from like a jasmine green tea infusion uh, the raspberry is a sort of purpley red color you got your ginger and pear which is sort of orangey brown color lovely smell coming off of it and the black currant although i thought it'd be the same sort of color as the the raspberry is a sort of mahogany brown like the earl grey as well and there's a lovely fruity, herby scent coming off of them. So yeah, it's a very nice experience I'm getting here. Uh, so now I'm going to set up for what I think is my favourite part of the whole tea review experience, the taste test. Okay, we're going to start with the Earl Grey. Let me see. So like I said, dark brown, chocolatey, mahogany colour. Lovely, citrusy, strong tea, Assam, malty smell. Oh, that's lovely. Nice, strong, malty taste. You can taste the, the bergamot. It's a lot subtler than the Assam taste, but it's definitely there. Slightly bitterness because of the black tea, obviously. Um, a dry mouth feel with bergamot as well, but uh, definitely one of the better Earl Grey's that I've tasted. Next is the chamomile or chamomile citron. Lovely herby floral scent. Sweet. 
sweet, floral, slightly fruity taste. Not really getting the sort of sharpness of lemon. If anything it's a sweet lemon, there's a sort of, there's a lot of sweetness in it. Um, I'm even getting a slightly slight touch of licorice root in there. There probably is some in there because I'm getting the, 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 the sweet taste of it. But it doesn't dominate everything. It's got a lovely floral, honeysuckle, honey taste to it. Could do with a little more citrus. Okay, now jasmine green. Lovely jasmine scent, lovely sort of Chinese tea, um, nostalgia right there. Lovely, wholesome, floral taste. A little bit astringent on the tongue, but that's not a bad thing. Um, definitely has a lot of strength to it. You can taste the jasmine, you can taste the strength of the green tea, very agreeable. Next we have the raspberry nectar, which is raspberry and hibiscus. Lovely, fruity scent, very sweet smelling, very sort of summery, even though the weather's kind of turned a bit now, so... We had, we were going through a heat wave, but now it's sort of a bit grey now, which is which is a good thing. Um, but you know, so just one second. Oh, it's lovely. It's sweet. It's fruity. It's got a little bit of sharpness as well, which is not unpleasant because raspberries can be a bit sharp. It's warm. It's comforting. It, it, it's like a sort of a, a dessert, definitely sort of something you'd, you'd eat, you'd drink for a dessert. Um, very pleasant, not overwhelming, um, not overwhelmingly sweet is what I mean. And uh, very, very pleasant sort of uh, mix, I think. Okay, so now we have the white, gin white tea ginger and pear. Uh, yes, you get the sort of um, acetone, slight acetone scent that you usually get with um, sort of pear food products, unless you're actually eating a pear, you, you do tend that slight acetone sort of aroma. It's quite pleasant actually, it's quite sweet. It doesn't taste like you're drinking nail, nail polish remove, that, that's a good thing. Quite sweet, you can get the, the, the white tea taste. Not really getting the sting of ginger in this, which is not a bad thing actually. The, the, the sort of fruit side of it's more domining, domineering, which is a good thing because in a lot of ginger mixes it's just usually just ginger, ginger, ginger. But I think they've got the balance just right in this. Um, so, last one is blackcurrant, which is a black tea mix. Oops, sorry. There we go. Again, like the raspberry, it has a lovely fruity scent. Um, sort of very sort of um, blackcurrant, sort of ribena sort of smell, um, but more sort of freshly picked sort of uh, smell. So very fruity, very sort of warm and summery. Mm. The taste is a little more subtle than I'd expected. It's more the black tea taste that's coming through rather than the black currant itself. There is a slight hint of the fruitiness, but it's just not packing a little pun bit more punchy. Mm. It, it's a it's a it's a nice brew, it's a nice concoction, but it sh it 
my, in my opinion, it should have been like the raspberry, a bit more fruity, a bit more tart. Um, but it's still it's still a nice cup of tea. It's 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 but it's very subtle on the fruit. So out of the T Forte selection, of course I have to go for the Earl Grey, and I think aside from the Earl Grey, the raspberry nectar really enjoyed that. Also the ginger and pear, very very nice, but uh, loses a bit because the ginger I felt wasn't strong enough. Um, so yeah, that was T Forte. Uh, links down below. Um, I got mine from TK Maxx, obviously you can get that it from there, or you can get it from the website. Yeah, so, I've been Sue Mnemonic, you've been watching The Tea Drinker, I hope to see you again uh, in the next video.